Everybody's running upstream here. What's up, happy people? This is your third installment in Florida Keys with Deer Meat for Dinner. But today, I've got, I don't know, like a dozen people on the boat. I've got my family, I got Wyatt's family, I even got my mother and father-in-law. So it's gonna be a little bit of a fiasco today, but you know what, that's what it's all about. So now that we're here, let me show you how to relieve the pressure by bending a rod. Put that there. And now that will just put a scent trail back the tide is coming in the wind is blowing in all of this scent is going to go that away now gabe just came back and gave i mean blue gabe i don't know what he wants right now but he's being awful sweet he just came and brought us a bunch of these they're called sandy key pilchards or white bait whatnot they make for great chum as well and i'm already seeing fish back there i'm already seeing fish why it's going to be fishing with this one it's an old salty combo we've got about 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader to a little hook see that that's all you need you want this bait to swim freely and see this you take them and hook them right through the nose right there why drop that drinker back there as you can see we've got a horde of fish coming up Ooh, fish on. Oh, my line's all messed up. Now I'll take some of these little ones and just get these fish fired up. Look at that. That's how you get the bigger ones. That is so cool. Oh, got you a nice one. Now look, they have to be 10 inches to keep. And back here, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for those nice pan size gray snapper. Then we're gonna go over onto the bank. We're gonna have us a picnic. And you know what? If you're at home watching, what we're doing right here does not require some special area. You can go almost anywhere in the Florida Keys and do what we're doing and catch fish. Now tomorrow we're gonna run out and go dolphin fishing, my my fishing, and we need fresh ballyhoo. So let's catch it now. Anytime you're gonna catch ballyhoo and use dead, you wanna brine it. That's ice. Soon as we catch them, we're gonna put them right on that ice. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh my God, I crushed him, Gabe. <laughs> The number of Valley Hill. Yes, sir. Look at that. That is the perfect dolphin bait. My, my. Fresh Valley Hill. Look who it is, everyone. It's Blue Gabe, world famous YouTube star. I got two little girls on here. <laughs> Yeah. What is that? 
Literally, I've been watching that fish down there eating all the chum. And he, I, I actually watched him watch your bait fall and eat. That's a big old lionfish that I caught in the net. Now, Arya, you gotta be really careful with these because they have very sharp spines that can hurt you. Okay? This one's dead. All right. I can get him out. Don't break him off, he ain't in the rock, he's a big mutton snapper. Come on, clear this line. <laughs> he was definitely in the rock. I could feel it's it hitting up against the tree. It's a, it's a... Sorry, look at this. Can you tell me what you think he's got? I don't know what he's got. It's a shark, I think. It's a small shark. No, I don't think it is. Feel him hitting up against the rocks. I don't know how he hasn't popped up. I can feel the rocks. That looks like me trying to get that oh, grouper. See? 
Told you I got upgraded. Goliath. Whoa, look at that, sucker. Oh, look at that, Goliath. Bring him up here and hold him up. Let's get a picture of this sucker. Yeah, boy! Look at that. Crazy strong little fish. Hey, buddy. I think I caught a little French gun or something when I was building it up and I felt it get upgraded. There we have it. We have a dog snapper and a red grouper. They both live in the exact same spot along the reef edge. Let's knock the sides off of them and see which one tastes best. Please excuse my knife, it is not sharp at all, and I don't have anything to make it sharp. So I'm just gonna have to do, have to do what I can with what I got. And this thing doesn't wanna hold either. Hey White, can you come be a uh, assistant there? And... Look at that, look how nice. What, what do you think, think it's gonna be good? Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Which do you think is gonna be better, the snapper or the grouper? Oh, uh, I'm gonna say the grouper. Whoa, that's what that looks like. Look how white the meat is on the grouper. Now let's check out the snapper. Both of them were speared. So it's pretty much uh, a really good comparison. Mm, this meat looks really good too. Mm. So, let's show everybody nice, tight look. Clearly, the grouper has a more white look. We've got the grouper filet, the snapper filet. Put them right in there just like that. We're gonna season them up. On one side, I'm gonna put a little fish and chicken. Flip these rascals over. Put a little Everglades original. Now, we'll take some mayonnaise Take that, now you just rub it all on there. Now all that seasoning, all that love and goodness is together. What if you were here and I just wiped that on your cheek? Now, gonna make us some dip dip sauce. Get some sweet relish. That's Worcestershire. Put you some Worcestershire in there. A Little bit of Everglades original. Watch it just fall in love. This is about to become happy. Uh, yes, sir. Now we got us pineapple. Good, fresh pineapple. So we were at the Ace Hardware the other day and I saw this, it's just called a grill it kit. And they said it's ready to go. So I wanted to try it before I showed y'all. And it appears it's working just as they said it would. You just open it up just like that. And then you, you're ready to go. Go Rob. Oh yeah, boy. Let the good times roll, y'all. Take some pineapple. Put it right on there. With a piece of snapper. Ooh, just about perfect. Perfect size. I don't know who made these little grills, but that gum they seem handy. Sure smells good. Right? And I tell you what, the size of the fish is about perfect. Like, I mean, 
What on earth? I'll take it. The mayonnaise is a natural lubricant and it'll keep it from sticking to the to the little grill. In theory. Oh man. How you like that? Oh, snow white. Oh yeah, see how that got nice and char char grilled right there? That's what we're looking for. One of the ways you can tell your fish is done is if you can cut it with your fork like that. See how it just cut? If you can cut it with your fork, you know it's done. Hmm. Dad gum it, that's good. <laughs> I like the grouper just a little bit more. Can't complain about either one though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now try the try the pineapple. Amazing. Isn't that good? I can't believe how good them little girls work. I still love fish. Yeah. Give a thumbs up. Is that think? good? Good? You wrap a big thumbs up? <laughs> yeah! Hey, drop a thumbs up if you're still watching Austin spear his first grouper. And I don't even know how much we can fit into one video because this has been yeah. a pretty action-packed day. That's pretty epic. Which is better, snapper or grouper? I give the grouper a, just by a smidge. Bob got to flip a coin. Right, but it's delicious. Mmm. Hey, I love you guys. I appreciate you so very much. We're just getting started. This is week one. We got three more to go. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.